Back in the early 90s, there was a fellow named Jim Simon, who's a physician, lived in San Francisco, and he was very, very interested in plants. And uh, unfortunately, he's since passed on, but um, he used to spend about half of each year traveling the world, just, uh, seeking out interesting plants. And at one point, he decided that it would be good to start up a conservation project for the corpse flower. So he traveled to uh, Sumatra, collected seeds, and then distributed them to uh, institutions such as Gustavus, who have the facilities to grow and preserve the plant. And so that's how we came to have this plant here. The one that um, we're seeing now was the largest seedling. We had several seedlings. Uh, We've grown this one on to maturity and we've been donating the others to other institutions. Well, Perry's uh, seed was planted in 1993 and the first flowering was in May of 2007. So it took a long time. It takes a, uh, quite a while for these plants to reach this size. Um, typically what they do is they will generate a leaf and that leaf is used for photosynthesis to build up food reserves in the root system. Then the leaf dies, it goes dormant, just like trees lose their leaves in the fall. And then it starts growing again and gets bigger. And it keeps on going through that cycle until it gets big enough to flower. And uh, that can flower in as little as uh, seven or so years from seed. Sometimes it takes longer. Expect uh, Perry to keep on going through this cycle of um, flowering, dormancy, leaf, and then flowering again um, indefinitely. Um, I've read, and I don't know how accurate this is, that the lifetime of one of these plants is somewhere around 40 years. So we have quite a few more flowerings to go. And if the lifetime turns out to be longer than that, who knows? The name Perry is a nickname. Um, the actual name that we chose, so we decided we should name it after one of the Titans. And the Titans are a pretty obnoxious uh, group uh, in general, so we had to think about this a lot uh, so as not to pick a really inappropriate name. But Hyperion was the titan uh, associated with uh, intellectual curiosity. And so we thought that would be an appropriate name given that Perry is located in, at a college. 